All right, so let's get to this Vegas trip. So we open with Mary's lies. Her coot's telling her he wants to sell that house in Florida because it's a dump. And he's like, I could see us making money off of it, but it's too much trouble. And that means you're renting it out, even though you said, we don't rent out our vacation homes. Yes, you do. I can tell by that dated furniture and that unorganized closet. So now we got Whitney trying to get her siblings back around the pappy. She's a noble girl. Okay, so now Jen gonna play matchmaker for Heather with one of Sharif's friends. Heather, why are you throwing drink shade? Okay, then he asked for a Sprite, and they're like, uh, you have a black husband. You have been around people who ordered Sprite before, Jen. And Heather, you've dated enough black men where you know, where you know what a Sprite is, too. Don't act new. So she did not hit it off with the friend. So Whitney gonna invite everybody for a weekend in Vegas. So Mary ain't going, and I ain't mad. So Lisa wants an apology. Meredith is like, I'm irritated that Whitney's taking part in this, but maybe she's just the messenger. Oh my goodness, Jen says she's the hype girl for the Vegas trip because she gets along with everybody? So Lisa shows up without an RSVP, and Whitney is irritated. But, I mean, you extended the invitation, so just be happy the heifer there. So they all get in the car. Whitney calls Lisa, Lisa don't answer, but then she turned right around and calls Meredith four seconds later. Okay, so Lisa's like, oh, I'm here for work. So now Jen says, well, I'm not sure I'm okay with Whitney either. And we get a flashback to before they left. And Jen and Lisa are having a conversation about what Whitney said. And Lisa's like, well, I didn't say that. So Lisa says, I want to know how she came to the conclusion that I'm afraid of you. Well, Mary told her that you said it. Okay, that corny little poem from the concierge wasn't necessary. So Whitney organized some car racing, but you gotta tell people your itinerary before they get there. That way Jen wouldn't have had a surprise for Heather. She probably thought, oh, we gonna get to the hotel, chill, and then go to dinner or something. You gotta tell people, like Kenya. Oh, and now that means Whitney's alone with Lisa and Meredith. That's kind of boring. So Whitney gonna try to explain to Meredith and Lisa what she was trying to do. Lisa wants to confront Whitney about her saying that she was afraid of Jen, and Meredith is irritated with Jen because she was talking about her marriage. Jen arranged for a private shoe shopping experience. Okay, this racing looks like fun, except the heifers are miserable doing it because they can't stand each other. Child, Lisa can't drive worth a damn. You afraid you're gonna break this Ferrari? Were you too cheap to get the insurance? Why would you only go 70 in a Ferrari? I'd be like at 140. So Whitney apologizes for how everything went down and takes accountability. And Meredith and Lisa are like, Mary doesn't speak for us. You know, she, we her friend, but uh, she don't speak for me. Next time you hear I said something, check with me. I'll tell you if I said it. So now we got Heather and Jen talking and Jen's still upset with Whitney for bringing up that Lisa and Meredith were supposedly talking to Mary with we're supposedly talking shit with Mary behind her back. Heather's like, wait, didn't y'all apologize and move on? We're back here at square one? It's Bravo, you know that dead horse must be beat. Now it's I'm your friend, you stand up for me with Whitney. Oh God, now she's crying, she ruined my husband's birthday. So now Jen's like, you better make sure she acts right because you're the only reason we're putting up with her. She hasn't been that damn bad. Heather looks exhausted and exasperated. Well, that was the episode, so I'ma see you soon for something. So they're going to the strip club in Vegas. So now Whitney drops by Heather's room. So Whitney says, I apologize to Lisa and Meredith about the way the party ended. Heather says, well, girl, you know Jen's still mad about the party. So now Jen shows up for drinks with Lisa and Meredith and they say, oh, Whitney apologized to us. Are you still mad? Jen says, wait, how are you good with her, Lisa, when she threw you under the bus to me? And Jen said, oh, she can lie and just say I'm sorry. And Meredith said she was just repeating what she was told. Now, she shouldn't have done that, but she ain't invent nothing. You guys are my friends. I stuck up for both of you. I'll ask Whitney when she gets here. Okay. Oh, God. Now she's like, well, y'all be on Mary's side. Be on Whitney's side. That's fine. Oh, Meredith said, I need to excuse myself. <laughs> Goodbye. 
I'm not engaging in this. This is nonsense. Nobody tells me who to be friends with. Meredith walked off. She was not in the mood. You think Whitney Rose is a better friend than me? Go ahead and think that. Ooh, Jim. Is this the medication? Because this is, is irrational. Like, I don't even know what we should be filming right now. Because she just went off the rails. Lord. So Lisa's trying to keep Jen from running away. And she walking past Heather. And then she just swats at Heather. Because Heather reached out to keep her too. So they finally get her back in. And she goes up to Whitney. You want to talk? Let's talk, Whitney. Whitney, shut the F up. She got that finger in the face. Now Heather comes in, hey, whoa, that's not necessary. You calm down, don't come at me, Heather. Oh my God, Jen. So now Jen walks off again and Heather chasing her. Laura, we got big swole security because <laughs> Jen looked like she was about to get Tammy Rowan with it. Lisa's like, you can't say I don't have your back. I'm standing right here talking to you. And the other girls are like, yeah, that was a bit much. And you were acting like you was about to bop somebody on the head like little bunny foo-foo. Whitney is surprised. She's still blaming her for that dang party. And she's like, so all that time we spent apologizing was bull. And by the way, the heifer be talking behind your backs too. Let's talk about her talking about Meredith's marriage. But she want to act all holier than thou. Chow. Oh, she showed pictures of someone Meredith was having a relationship with. So Jen called Whitney last night and said, oh, by the way, Lisa's running her mouth about you. See, Jen ain't shit, and she want to act like she shit. Lisa said, uh, I said everything to your face today. That I may have said it behind your back, but I also said it in your face. Oh, Jesus. So now she whining to her husband. I know he got to be sick of her. I couldn't deal with it. So all the girls except Jen go meet in Whitney's suite. So now they're filling Meredith in on the fingers in the face and the don't you know. So now Whitney talk about how Jen was going to drown her in the lake behind her house. And the only reason she ain't is because she friends with Heather. Whitney also says, you know, Meredith, um, Jen was trying to get me to say shit about your marriage. He kept pushing that marriage narrative about, hmm, I asked Meredith, I don't know, but something's going on. Meredith is like, okay, all right, let me fast. Since y'all are so interested in what goes on in this cooch, me and my husband have been separated on and off for a minute. We have dated other people. We've known about it. We've been separated. It is what it is. We fine now. I don't want to hear shit else. Not shit else. Lisa's like, this is the first time I'm hearing this? Uh, you don't need to know everything that goes on in her marriage. Lisa has the nerve to have hurt feelings over somebody else's marriage and choices. Just because Meredith didn't clue you in? So Lisa don't want to be her friend no more. Heather says she has redeeming qualities, but really? <laughs> Mary said, I knew Jen would ruin the trip. It was inevitable. I ain't even mad at it. So the next morning, Whitney, Meredith, and Lisa are going to go do something, and they waiting for Heather, but Jen is uninvited. Oh, they thought Jen went home. So Heather comes by and Jen's getting in full glam. Heather said, look, you mad they made up with Whitney and you want everybody to be angry with her. Jen, why can't you believe that Mary lied? Why is it that, that Whitney had to lie? Whitney said she heard it from, Heather, from Mary. Why ain't you going to the source, Mary? And then suss it out with Lisa and Meredith and see who you buy. Heather said, the person who's wrong right now is you, Jen. You messed up the whole group with your auntie. So Whitney then taken Lisa and Meredith to some spiritual crystal healer. Oh, Lord. So now Heather shows up with Jen to the crystal healing. You need bleach for that. Oh, God. I came with Heather because people are lying. People are lying. Children are crying. Concentrate. Concentrate. People are dying, children are crying. Concentrate, concentrate. Crack an egg on your g uh, girl. You sound like a fool. <laughs> I am tired of you. Who are your real friends? None of them at this point, cause they sick of you. I know I am. So they go into the other room and sit down and the psychic says, all right, um, y'all some dysfunctional heifers, but this is a safe space, so let's get to it. Do it. And have a little reconciliation. 
Lord, so Jen starts with her pity party. It's always me. Everything's my fault. I'm too loud. I'm too much. Meredith said, now hold on. The issue was you was telling me I couldn't be friends with Murr. Okay, so Jen's still whining. Whitney, why did you tell me that at that party? Why? And Lisa like, now hold up, hold up. I never said Whitney was lying. Whitney just repeated what Mary said. Why can't you even say Mary's name? Oh, now Meredith says, excuse me, you want to preach loyalty, but you out here speaking on my marriage. So now Jen's trying to backpedal and pussy pop. Backpedal and pussy pop. Oh, I like this uh, crystal healer. She said, now hold on, hold on. Make sure this is a real apology. Say it, just say it. She said, uh, stop trying to explain it away. Just, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done it. That's it. That's it. No buts. No, I, no, it, just, it. child, trust, not trust, honey. Nobody trusts Jen in the group. This made Jen feel attacked. They're ganging up on her. No, they ain't. Oh, God, who doesn't trust Heather? Raise your hand. So Jen's just going to raise her hand because she ain't got nothing else to do. Heather's like, you know what, Jen? I I've been defending you, but you've been a shitty friend. I, I think I see the light in your darkness. Heather tell Jen, girl, you on the brink of ruining our friendship. Well, that was it. I'll see you tonight for the finale. This was an okay season. Um, I'd love it if they'd bring in some new heifers, but, uh, but this was okay.